Welcome back to Kerbal Hard and Uncut. I am uh, I'm in the middle of the burn still. We're still burning this this uh, this burn to well, so repulsing this burn to bring our apoapsis down, but more importantly, try and get us this possible encounter with Tylor. It will not be in this orbit. It'll be in a few orbits time. But I'm just looking here at this crossing point and going. Uh, that's as far as I want to go. So I want our ascending descending. I want a descending node there, right on top of the orbital path of Tylor. That's what was the plan was, because now I can just go add a maneuver there and we go forward in time and we see, is there an encounter? That's a close one, actually. That's not bad. How close are there? We could, we could force that. That would be in 100 and something days, or we could actually just go around and wait for one. There we go. There's, there's the one we want. Uh, so there we go. That's in uh, 300 days. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Look, I'm fine. Can we... How has that changed? There was an encounter there. Seriously. Right, do it again. There we go, there was the first one. And then there we are. Then I want to go on to Tylo. It won't let me. Okay. Right, so we're gonna add a man we're gonna add that maneuver. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Um we're gonna add that. Let's have a look. Uh alarm, create alarm, uh maneuver. Because then we'll be on the next cycle round. Um let's have a look. Do that. Add alarm. There we go, that's in 300 days. So we're just gonna um, tap it onto one and then warp the next. There we go. All the way around. That's really annoying. Whoop, there we go, 300 days. So yeah, so last episode we were we were keeping an eye on our Dreads mission because that is doing the same thing that our Elu mission did and that our Jewel mission did, which is it keeps losing its encounter. And then uh, it's the encounter still there. You don't do anything. The encounter is just there. It's just if you're in any form of time warp, it will not have the encounter visible. And I think that's what happened with the Dres mission the first time round. I think it. Um, I think the alarm clock actually changes your sphere of influence to the next one, and so it obviously gone to like its limit or something like that, and then dropped off. And that's why it didn't slow down um, when it should have. And then we manually did it because we were watching it. We we're waiting for it to come home. I actually manually did it. And then it had just gone past that sphere of influence change. Um, so I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a very odd little glitch there. I'm not sure I like it. In fact, I really don't like it. I think it's absolutely horrendous. Um, right. This should be the one, is it? Or is it the next one? There's Tylo's gone round. Tylo's gone round. Next one. Is it the next one? There's Tylo gone round. Right, here we go. Okay. Um, so the next orbit should be Tylo time. Um, and we're going to have a play with this. Right. I don't know what delta V we're going to need for this. It's probably not going to be that efficient. It'd be better if we'd actually brought it down. Um, but then I was going to do, I was going to use a thousand anyway. Um, so let's have a look. If nothing else, we can get a gravity assist off it. <laughs> um, focus view. So currently we're coming around that side and that's going to pump us out into interplanetary space. Wonderful. Um, let's put a maneuver in. Let's put a maneuver uh, here in three hours. So we're going to add a maneuver there. Right. Let's have a look. What do I want? That's actually not bad. That isn't bad at all. Um, what do I want to do? I would like to do some very small maneuvers. Um, I think I want to pull us on the other side. Well, first of all, let's see what happens if we go really tight. We come really tight into Tylo. What happens? We are looking at, we are we are departing the solar system. <laughs> is that is that actually what we're doing? Um, no, we're going out there to the orbit of Elu. Oh, that's interesting. So that, that's a gravity push out. I don't want that. So then we do need to get a bit more, keep going straight through the middle of the moon, come on the other side. And if anything, this should do the opposite. Uh, Tylo is a, is a heavy ball of rock, so it should, it should pull us back and we should get a little bit of a positive, positive on this one. We should get a pulled in 
let's have a look. Yeah, there, look at that. So that, that actually pulls us into an orbit which has periaps. It's quite nice. I quite, I approve of that. That's our current orbit after we come through it. So we're going to come down to there, but we'll then be on this plane here where the descending node there, but we're going the wrong way. Ah, hmm. I see. That is problematic. So that's 1.2. Now, how much, how much is this going to cost me to capture? That seems like a lot. I f it feels like a lot, you know? I sense a lot of of delta v capturing here right that's 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 more than a capture 1900 um that's bad that's not bad because i can dump the, the lander at that point and then we're we're in orbit and we're in a tylo orbit i mean yeah that, we're in a tylo orbit then aren't we you know what i'm i'm gonna go for that Right, how low is that? I think that is a little too low. Um, 25 is probably not too low. <laughs> um, we'll do it, we'll do that, right. Uh, put me on whatever that node is. That's the retrograde, isn't it? Yeah, we are actually on retrograde now. That's cool. So I could just do a little, a uh, little, little jolt. Yeah, just do that. Let it pop around the other side. And then there we go. Right, what we're we looking like. Get rid of that. We are at 61. That's fine. That is okay. Um, we can tidy that up once we get to it. Okay. I am happy with that. Yeah. And then that that actually puts us into this this orbit. So we could we could put ourselves into this orbit and then let's add a maneuver there. Uh, put it there. I need to, am I not, am I not targeted? Hmm. Right. Target position, a close approach. I want to do it there because we've got an encounter. It's not going to show it, is it? Oh, we get another encounter. Where do we get the encounter at? What do we get an encounter with? Dual Tylo encounter there. Okay. This is cheeky. We're gonna we're gonna use the gravity to pull us down. So we're gonna get a full full gravity assist, and then when we're out here, we'll do some playing around to try and get another Tylo encounter. Um, the only problem I've got is my inclination is horrendous now. But. Is that a problem? Um, yes, it is actually, isn't it? Um, hmm. Thoughts. I would love to be able to figure that out. I think because we're coming out in a completely different direction. Um, I wonder if I could do a... You know what? I wonder if we can do a, a plane change on approach. Add a maneuver there. Um, like, can I do a, a normal, anti-normal shift something like that uh, let's move that up no something like that what's that that's then one 150 okay yeah we're gonna it's good it, by doing that it has to fire us out there doesn't it so it has to fire us into a retrograde I think we just go for the capture. Um, mm, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just go for that capture. So, where are we? We're going to warp to here. It's the debate, isn't it? It's the, the or, or to, eternal debate. I Sometimes my orbital mechanics is just not good enough. Sometimes it's just not good enough. There we go. We're going to warp to there. And of course, we're keeping an eye on the Dres check. Um, the good thing is, if I can put this in orbit around around Tylo, 
it then means that um, I can just sit it around Tyler. We can sit around Tyler nice and safe because we don't have any problems with the knees or the moons and things like that. I think I'm going to do it. I think it's going to take, we'll be down with about 3000 meters per second, but we'll be in Tyler orbit. And that's a biggie, which then gives us ping ponging around uh, as an option, but we will have lost the heavy lander at that point. So everything gets easier. Um, and everything just gets easier from then on. We just get more and more fun, sort of fuel available. I think that's the way to do it. Um, I hope that's the way to do it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Let's have a look out there. We're going to go to. We're going to go to there. Right. Um, one year, sixty days until the Dres check, which will be. Um, about 12 days before its sphere of influence change. You'll notice I've got that in beforehand, uh, just in case. Um, I think I'm gonna warp to there. Let's just warp to there. All right. Yeah, so comment down below. Would you do this aero break yourself? Would you uh, would you not do it? Because that's the that's the interesting one for me. Um Tylo should be about 1,100. So I'm not massively upset by by having a capture with you know almost 2000 uh it's not huge uh we are coming from a higher orbit i've not brought down uh stuff in fact that's that's not bad at all actually 1200 is not bad for a tylo capture and i mean i okay i know i know i need to bring it down more but even so yeah that's not bad at all and you're normally looking at tylo capture what actually 10 kilometers is normally a tylo Let's do a light capture. Let's because because I don't know what this craft is capable of once it's doing stuff. So let's do a little light capture like that. Yeah, there we go. All right. Um, yeah, what warp to me? Thank you. Um, and we'll get back onto the ship view actually. Right. I would like you to be on the node. Uh, we're going to use pretty much all our engines. It's a six minute burn. That's more realistic. What was it coming up before as it was going to, it was going to say, it said to me, it was like a, th a three minute burn for something. And I was like, no, it's going to be an awful lot more than that because it's nuclear engines and they're terrible. Uh, oh no, maybe, maybe it was right. Cause I think it was only about, it was only going to be about 500 meters per second. It's going to be about 700 meters per second. So yeah. Right. We are now in Tylo. So we can, uh, we can do a little bit of uh, crew report while we're here. Actually just transmit that. Um, just grab the sciences as we go. Oh, hello. What we've got more money. First scientific data from Tyler. Oh, we actually had a mission for that, I seem to remember. Um, okay, now this is one of the reasons why I'm glad we came in at a slightly higher point because we're going to fire our engines so much sooner. Um, right, I'm actually going to fire early. Earlier than early, in fact. So I'm just watching this periaps. Periaps is doing what? The periaps is going up. Okay, that's a new one. Because we are firing upwards a little bit. Uh, eight seconds, nine seconds. I will speed this up once we get on the nuclear engines because it is going to be a bad one. Um, but I will probably save most of that for the next episode because at this point I need to start thinking about is that is that tank emptied? Is that, we emptied that tank. Yes, that, that's the final tank to empty. Is it okay? Oh no. Right, and then that's going to decouple. Is it? Is there a decoupler there? I did put a decoupler in, didn't I? Where is that decoupler? Hello. I'm hoping that's that decoupler. Oh, it better be. Oh, it better be. It better be. All right, so this is this is the big burn. This is the one that's important. And of course, yeah, as I've said before, once we get rid of that, that is all, all fuel. That is like a huge chunk of dead weight right now on our calculations. Um, that might make this better. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Right. Um, there we go. I wasn't meaning to fire those engines straight away, but there we go. That's fine. That could have been disastrous. Okay. Now I think we can go to two times. Yes. Uh, my periaps is going down slowly. That's not terrible. I just need to capture. Oh, now this is interesting. What we're seeing, we've got. A, ooh, currently, we'll be if we miss this, we're going to the center of Jewel. Okay, that's that's not a great sure situation to be in. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I think we've gone out the other side now, have we? 
Wow, that's uh, how how to how to how to crash in a duel in a duel in one easy step. There, that's interesting. Um, right. So from me, until next time, have a great one.